Hi, this is Dr. Sai Siddish Kanraju, consultant neurologist and epileptologist at Yashoda Hospital, Sikindrabad. Today in this video, let us know briefly about what is multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis is a condition where the myelin cover over the nerves is ripped off because of uh, the disease entity. In multiple sclerosis, the myelin sheath is lost over the nerves in different places and it can also occur at different times. That's the reason it is called as multiple. And the area where the myelin has been lost, the nerves become hardened. So it is called as sclerosis. Overall, it is called as multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis can be observed from childhood to an elderly population. However, young women are the most frequently affected population. Multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune disease. The autoimmune disease is such kind of a condition where our own defense mechanism which is supposed to protect us from an external invasion of any microorganisms aberrantly attacks our own nervous system. So the cause of this autoimmunity nobody knows. However, there is a familial tendency where the genetic factors are thought to play a role and also low vitamin D deficiency is also supposed to be a role in the pathogenesis of multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis can present in many ways. Its clinical manifestations depend upon what nerves are affected because of myelin loss. If it is affecting the optic nerve, what we uh, see is visual disturbances and if the nerves which are controlling the movement of the eye are affected we can see what we call as double vision or squint and if the nerves which are concerned about movement of hands and legs are affected we tend to see paralysis of hands and legs and in the similar way the nerves in the spinal cord if they are affected depending on what level we tend to see weakness of both hands and legs or could be both legs alone with bladder involvement. Multiple sclerosis can be diagnosed uh, when a person comes with uh, specific manifestations which can hint to the neurologist that we are dealing with multiple sclerosis. Then we proceed with uh, an MRI with contrast to see what are the regions which are affected in the brain, uh, the optic nerve, the brain stem and the spinal cord. Depending on the features uh, which are revealed on the MRI contrast and, and some few neurophysiological tests like visual evoked potentials to look at the optic nerve integrity as well as BAER to look at the nerves observing the hearing function and also CSF analysis where we take some fluid from the back of the spine and analyze it. Depending on the features on the MRI, the results of the neurophysiological tests and CSF values, we tend to diagnose multiple sclerosis. So treating multiple sclerosis can be looked in this way. The acute attack can be treated with uh, steroids to decrease the intensity of the inflammation in the brain and it also helps in improvement of the symptoms. And multiple sclerosis is such kind of entity we tend to see these attacks multiple times. So we may have to start some disease modifying therapy to prevent these relapses on the long run. Uh, once um, multiple sclerosis is diagnosed and when it's treated on time with appropriate disease modifying therapies, people with multiple sclerosis can lead a normal life as anyone. Thank you.